Alright, shallow walk to the whole food leg. Before we get started, we want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by Shem Rakak with Dash. Rock the Yahweh. 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 That's right! And uh, much peace and blessings to the hopeful legs. That's right. Our spirits about the four corners of the earth. Uh, out here another Saturday, uh, doing what we do best, prophesying the downfall of this wicked and uh, uh, evil world. Uh, primarily Babylon the Great, aka the United States of America. That's right! Okay. And in the, in the light of what's going on this evening of the Greatest Circus, uh, uh, the UFC fight, this undisputed fight going on, we want to remind you who the true pound for pound undisputed champion of the world is, man. Woo! That's right, and that's Yahweh yeah. Hashem Yahweh Shah. That's, that's right. right! And he's going to uh, come in and express likeness of his only begotten son, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, to uh, conquer this world uh, in great violence, man. That's Woo! right. All right. Uh, let's get that scripture, uh, Mr. Carter. Okay, this is the book of Revelation, chapter 17, verse 14. That's right. In the NLT. Right at 12, huh? At 12. The ten horns of the beast are ten kings. Okay, these ten horns are going into the European Union. Yes. Okay, established uh, 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 in, the, in the 50s under the Treaty of Rome. That's okay. right. Uh, uh, signifying that this is uh, the uh, ancient pagan Roman Empire coming back. Okay, That's right. go ahead, continue, bro. And the ten kings who have not been yet risen to power, they will be appointed to the kingdoms for one brief moment to reign with the beast. Okay, the beast in its totality is the European Union and the North Atlantic Treaty, North Atlantic Treaty Organization, okay, uh, uh, in company with the United States of America, which makes up a uh, uh, economical, uh, political, and uh, military alliance, man. Okay, the greatest superpower this uh, earth that has seen uh, thus far. Hey, I, you just mentioned the three uh, spirits of the world going out into the earth. Those three city states, the city of London, which is the financial sector, uh, the Vatican City, which is the uh, religious sector, and then you have Washington, D.C., which is the military sector. And there you go. And that's how they took over the conquered the earth, just like ancient Rome. And you have to be under the image of Rome. That's why. They have a thing called uh, Americanization, a yeah. Westernization. Yeah. That's, that's the old beast come back. Right. 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 Hey, that's a slot here, bro. Just, just to reiterate that, amongst the fights going on, the UFC and the boxing, they also had that, that UAP hearing talking about the aliens and crash ships. Yeah. It's all part of that that, uh, that distraction, right. uh, that bread and circus. Oh, my God, huh? but, but, but the reason I brought that out is you mentioned the three unclean spirits. There's still people out there that are saying that's talking about aliens. The they, three, they, 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 <laughs> hey, you can believe whatever the fuck you want to believe, but hey, it's being broken down right and correct. And you ain't going to be able to say a damn thing about it because, hey, that's why nobody's come up against that. They, you think it's aliens, you can believe in whatever you want. You can believe who Chloe and Tyrone, whatever. <laughs> We're telling you what the scriptures are saying. That's right, right bro. The scriptures going to speak truth. Like, brother breaking down uh, the beast, the ten horns. Who really knows who that is? But then you go into it, you know that that dragon is ancient Rome. And you go back to ancient Rome, they had uh, the city state that was all conglomerate with Rome. Now right, you come into this time, under the Treaty of Rome, which was signed in the, in the 50s, NATO, and the EU to go up against who? The encroaching uh, uh, movements of the Russians, the Soviets at that time. Right? It all makes sense when you really go into history like a hospital for this whole week. If you don't know the history, you won't understand the mystery. Right? Right. Go ahead, huh? Verse 13. They will all agree to give him their power and authority. Hey, so they all agreed. 1957 Treaty of Rome. You see that because after World War uh, II, you would think the goddamn enemy was the Germans. But yet they had to plan the whole time to put Germany uh, uh, with them into a conglomerate of nations. They're one in the war. It, it, it made sense that they lost the war. And it made sense that Timur was the one that constructed that, 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 that weapon. That, that smith that was uh, uh, that blow the coals in the fight. Yeah. See, it all makes sense. See, the Lord is like, hey, I'm going to get, I'm going to destroy that beast this time. Hey, the Lord is making a plan on the the Lord is making that so goddamn plan on the table. If you ain't paying attention, yeah. you lost. Yeah. You completely lost. And, and the beautiful thing is the Lord got you lost. He's talking to the beast. He's completely talking to the elect. I'm here. I'm. This is what I'm I'm showing you. I'm showing you everything on the table. Yeah. All you got to do is 
Watch while it's pray. I'm gonna take care of you, bro. Hey, Barack, I thought y'all about to my shot at Oppenheimer. Just, just came up before the bread and the bullshit. That movie came up. How many, how many Jake really went to go see that? <laughs> Not a lot. But you got President Kim talking about it. Oh. Been, been talking about this through Oppenheimer before the movie came out. Uh, the Manhattan Project, Operation Paperclip, all these things, man. Uh, the Soviets having spies over there since the 50s, man, getting intelligence, actually building their own uh, atomic bomb. But now they got nuclear weapons, and they've been testing them for years on end. Okay, I just want to say, I was just telling the uh, brother in that movie, uh, Oppenheimer, Oppenheimer, he was a uh, rat, right? but he only made the atomic bomb. Uh, and in the movie, they brought out the bombs and the atomic But the Lamb will defeat them because he is Lord of Lords and King of Kings. Yeah. And what does that sound like? That sounds like a pound for town to me. Yeah. You know, that sounds like undisputed to me, man. Yeah. You understand? Because uh, uh, Esau and his cardinality uh, and, and, his, uh, uh, and his nations, his uh, conglomerate of nations, they, they will never prevail against uh, uh, the King of Kings, man. Okay, they're fighting a losing battle. And he's right. going he, to defeat them in great fashion, man. Okay, the scriptures prophesy that he's going to gather all the nation's armies into the, the Valley of Decision, okay? Right. Into the uh, Valley of Yahweh Shepard, right. okay? And uh, um, he's going to defeat them in a uh, great fashion that we're going to show you uh, in the scriptures, man. That's right. Uh, how, how it's going to play out. All right. It's 2nd uh, Ezra, chapter 13. Ah, I just had it. <laughs> I'm going to begin on that verse, uh, verse 5. It reads, And after this I beheld, and lo, there was gathered together a multitude of men,
shall go forth as a mighty man. He shall stir up jealousy like a man of war. He shall cry, yeah, roar. He shall prevail against his enemies. Right. I have long time holding my peace. Going into that laser coming out. That's how the Lord won't talk to these, these nations. Because I have long time holding my peace. I have been still and refrained myself. Now will I cry like a travailing woman. I will destroy and devour at once. This verse 15, it says, I will make waste mountains, going into governments, and hills, smaller governments, and dry up all their herbs, and I will make the rivers islands, and I will dry up the pools, and it's going into lasers and the missiles, changing the face of the earth for that. Yeah. Quick, quick, quick. This is uh, Luke 12 and 49, red letter, words for our Lord Yahweh Shine. He's saying what he's going to come do. It says, I am come to send fire on the earth. And what will I if it be already kindled? It's going to be kindled because in the midst of the return of our Lord, the second heaven, as these uh, scholars say, uh, a great war is going to be waged man, between these nations, man. Right. It's going to escalate like, to, uh, to a nuclear war, man. Right. The fire is going to be all over this planet Earth, man. And that's just going to be, a, the Lord is going to uh, bring the cherry on top, man. Mofi. Mo 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 yeah. mo you know? Yeah. They could, they, you know how they have the missiles, right? And the nations are going to be in that in that uh, spirit of mutually deserved, uh, uh, destruction. And they're going to be like, shit, are we really going to shoot them up? I don't know. We gonna shoot. So they're going to get to a point where I don't know we're going to push the button. But then the Lord going to make them push the button. But then, push the button. Last but, yeah, push the goddamn button. And then last but not least, how is Shai going to rob their life? Oh, yeah, we really got to push the button. Because they're going to be, they gonna be, we'd rather just die by the missiles than from him. So this is going to be chaos. Uh, uh, crazy, man. It's gonna be the height of confusion, the height of war, the height of that's right, the height of time, the height of time, bro. It's gonna be because just like when they before they dropped the bomb, they didn't know it was gonna destroy the world. But then at that, at this time, the Howard shine is gonna be in the skies with the armies of heaven. Yeah, it's gonna be a crazy time. Yeah, that's why the scripture said it just don't live by faith. But when all this stuff start happening, these people's faith. It's gonna go out the window. They ain't gonna have nothing to live for, man. bro. That's. I'm glad you said that because it said, "When the Lord comes on the earth, shall he find faith?" Right. Ain't gonna be no faith on the earth, but found in the elect. Yeah. That's it. Everybody else is gonna be either wanting to die, giving up <laughs> through. And like the dude said, they they fought the valiant fight, but they were just slaughtered. Slaughter. <laughs> he said it was like as if they were already dead. Yeah. You know, being dead. <laughs> go ahead, huh? This is uh, Revelation 19 and 11. Man. And I saw heaven open. Ooh. And behold, a white horse. A white horse represents a, 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 a power, man, and the power is a, a chariot, man. Pure, right. Pure power. Woo. All right. And he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. And, that, and this he is Yahweh Shai Mashayak, our Lord and Savior, man. Uh, right. Cracking uh, the clouds of this uh, atmosphere, man. Woo. Coming into this uh, realm from the spiritual into this physical realm. Yeah. Yeah. Go hey, ahead. Get straw real quick. Get up. Uh, Second second yeah, yeah. That was, yeah. Just to, you know, and then righteousness, he does judge and make war. <laughs> hey, would you see? You see, because most people go, why? God is love, peace, sir. But it says he's coming to wage war, yeah, which is war as hell. But he's coming to do it what? Righteously. Because this nigga Esau, he he would destroy everything if you just let him go. The Lord's like, I gotta come take this dude out. I have to come wage war against I gotta defeat this nigga with his own his own medicine. 
Because because this dude is too powerful for anybody else on the planet to really face his ass. But the Lord's like, but I'll face it. I'll take him out. Yeah. I'll be able to do it. Can't nobody else do it. Go ahead, huh? And, but before you because uh, uh, look at the state of the world, man. Under the rulership of this devil, man. You got uh, uh, child trafficking, mm -hmm. uh, shit, adult trafficking. You know, drugs everywhere, prostitution, uh, 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 homosexuality, man. Homeless. Oh, homelessness at a, at, a, at a fucking high level, man. They said uh, on, on, on the news yesterday, they said the elderly, they said here in California, in L.A., the elderly is the one of the most people are homeless, man. Right, and, and the elderly is supposed to be uh, well taken care of, man. Yeah. But, but, but that's not, uh, that's not uh, so in this kingdom, man. So... The Lord is the only uh, contender that, that could contend against this devil, man. Right. You know, because we have no power. We, we can't stand up for ourselves, man. Yeah. We're standing up for ourselves right now through the Spirit of the Lord, but we don't have any might in our hands, man. Right. Right. That might we have is uh, coming from a whole nother uh, uh, realm, man. Yeah. Man, you know? man, like a lot of these homeless people complain about these programs because it's set up like a concentration camp. Man. Yeah. They got all these restrictions and rules. Yeah. Hey, bro, uh, if, you, if you remember uh, a few, few years back, downtown LA, man. Um, Skid Row, with some uh, random dude uh, uh, interviewing everybody. Uh, it was a program down there, but they uh, they was chipping people though, man. Yeah. Downtown LA, yeah. you know, ho homeless people was being uh, uh, attacked, okay? Because that, that's where this devil uh, ultimately wants to go anyway, man. He wants to have a, a, a digital grid to where he can control everything, man. Yeah. But the Heavenly Father, he, he, he has something to say about that, man. Right, right. Verse 12, his eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns, and he had a name written that no man knew but himself, and he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of Yahweh. Right. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. Representing the holy host of heaven and the angels, man. Go ahead. And out of his mouth 